Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about 10 things we wish we knew before getting married. What? More specifically, we're gonna talk about the things that would have made our lives a lot easier when we plan our wedding. Now we got married in the Rivera Maya in Mexico at the beach. So some of those points that we're gonna mention today are specifically, not specifically, but more directed to weddings at the beach yes. in Mexico in the Rivera Maya. <laughs> but uh, you can also take it as an advice for weddings in general whatever yes. they may be. Now, I expected Yannick to be way more involved in the wedding planning than he actually was at the end. So I did most of the things, I gotta say. Yeah, that could be the first point. The groom will likely not do that much <laughs> planning. <laughs> this just in my personal experience. <laughs> I thought you would be different, you know? I don't know what I was thinking. Like, that's what they say. The brides do most of the planning. I was like, no, of course we're gonna do it together. Yes. But it was just, like, it might, might be because it was in Mexico and everything was in Spanish. But okay, let's start with a list. Yeah, now that that's actual. the actual list. Point number one, think about your budget and make a priority list. That should be the first thing you do because you might get very excited that you just got the ring. <laughs> like me. And you might <laughs> contact people, wedding planners and vendors without even knowing how much money you have available. Like me. Yeah, <laughs> like her. After I realized that I had no idea what I was doing, we sat down together and we made a table in Notion, which is a project management tool online. And we wrote all the items that we thought we were gonna need for the wedding and we assigned them prices and like percentages because we have to figure out what is the most important thing for us in this wedding. So here you can see the list that we made. As you can see, the venue obviously was the most important thing. Right after that, there was video and photo. So that was like, okay, we really want to have good photos of our wedding and an amazing video. But you do you, you know, you figure out what's important for you. It's not the same for every couple, so. Uh, I don't know why my outfit is so far at the bottom. Apparently for Joss, it wasn't interesting <laughs> or important we, at all. We did it together, you weirdo. <laughs> the fact that you don't but remember. I don't remember that it was that far at the bottom. It was pretty far. Your dress is like number four. <laughs> my outfit is number 12. Wow. <laughs> That's what we came up with. But the thing is, you have to know, this list is gonna change with time. But with this, you at least have a good starting point. Yes. You're setting yourself up for success. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for everybody's weddings. <laughs> oh, wow. You're not gonna be invited. It's just that I enjoyed wedding planning so much. Yeah, I have to say, she did an amazing job. If you want to hire her as a wedding planner, text should, her. Should I become a wedding planner? <laughs> I'm already a wedding videographer. She would be very wedding. good at it. Okay, if you want me to plan your wedding and you trust me in Riviera Maya, because that's where I know providers, <laughs> hit me up. Point number three, either book a wedding planner that books the venue for you or book the venue yourself so you have the date saved. Yes, this is super important for you to have your date as soon as possible. It's gonna take so much weight off your shoulders. Yeah. Nothing can come in between you and that date but COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So we contacted our venue in December of 2021. And we wanted to get married in the beginning of 2023. Mm -hmm. And all the Saturdays in the beginning of 2023 were already booked. Yes. So we had to pick a Friday. And there were only two possible dates where we could have our wedding. So we saved the date. And then a couple of months later, someone contacted us and asked us if we could change our date because she really wanted to get married on that day. Yeah. And we were like, uh, we already booked a bunch of other providers. We're not gonna change our date. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a specific date in mind, do that. Be fast. fast. It's gonna be kind of hard for you to compare different venues, at least in the Riviera Maya, because they include different things. There's some that are all inclusive. There's some that don't include anything, just the room. I recommend for you to find a venue that at least includes the food and the chairs and the tables. So you don't have to deal with that because those are important things. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> they don't have anywhere to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> sit on the floor. Yeah. So what I did, again, in Notion, I created this table that you can see right now. And before we explain how with this table we found the cheapest venue, we want to tell you a little bit more about Notion because I use this tool to plan our wedding and we use it to plan or well, to manage our business, our natural business and our YouTube videos too. Yes. So we knew we were going to show this tool to you guys. So we reached out to Notion and asked them if they would like to sponsor this video. And they said yes! It's a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. So, Notion is gonna change your life. If you don't know it yet, then get to it because it's gonna be amazing. So for the wedding planning, just use Notion 
more on her own. <laughs> but for our YouTube videos, and for our business, we use it together as a team. For example, when we were in London, we wanted to post a video every single day. And by creating a project with a list for all the video ideas and by assigning specific tasks to each one of us, we were able to stay organized without getting lost in this crazy amount of work we had. We also have other team members for Natol that also have access to Notion and their own accounts. And they get to see everything, to-do lists, progress, they can write their information that I really need to have and I want to keep in one spot. I don't want to be looking through WhatsApp messages or emails. Yes. Everything is in Notion. Organized. It's perfect. It's perfect. And you can create your own templates. Well, it's not like a template, but you can create your own workspace. That is the most efficient way you can organize your tasks that you're doing there. So you're not limited by like only tables, for example, or only to-do lists. You can create in one page everything you need. Yes. Notion has a lot of templates that come already with the tool for free so you can easily use one of them and get going straight away or a lot of people sell their templates. Yes. So if you really like a template from a specific person you can get that one. Yes. It's incredible and the best part of it just like Danik said it's free. You can start using it for free just by clicking on the link in the description down below. That would help you a ton because I'm pretty sure you're gonna use Notion. You can use it for basically anything. Even if you go to school, if you go to university and you have a lot of tasks. The possibilities are endless for real. Like we could be here naming every single way you can use it. Yeah. But I'm very excited for you guys to try it and let us know how you like it. So this is my table. As you can see in the venue price, it seems like venue 2 is the cheapest one. And the best option, because it's the cheapest. <laughs> but it didn't include as many things as Venue 3, for example. Yeah. So it was hard for me to compare them on their own. That's why this was great. So for example, for Venue 3, which was the most expensive one, they already included food. That's why food is in zero. Mm -hmm. And there we saved a bunch of money there. Then we saved a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. For one venue, it was mandatory to get a wedding planner. Mm -hmm. So that, of course, also made the cost way higher. Yes, and at the end I could see which one was the actual venue that would give me the best bank for my buck. That's wow. how you say it, right? Yeah, and surprisingly the most expensive venue turned out to be the cheapest one mm -hmm. considering all the extra costs for the other ones. Yes, okay. The next one is very specific for people that are gonna get married at the beach in the Riviera Maya especially international people. I highly recommend you to reach out to local vendors in Spanish not in English. This is a theory that I think is correct. I cannot confirm or deny it. But that's what she thinks is true. A lot of Americans get married in the Riviera Maya and I have a feeling that a lot of local vendors charge prime or premium prices to American brides and they give it cheaper to Mexicans. Uh, why? Why do you think that? I think that because I'm in a lot of Facebook groups from brides that get married in the Riviera Maya. Most of them are Americans. And when they write the prices that are, they are getting quoted there, many times, not every time, they're higher than what I got quoted. Mm -hmm. Just learn Spanish and you'll be good to go. Or if you know someone that knows Spanish, <laughs> ask them for help. Yeah. Ready for the next point? Yeah. Oh, Yannick is already falling asleep. That's why he didn't help me plan the wedding. He's not as passionate <laughs> as me. Great. <laughs> Number four is book your priority vendors as soon as possible. Why? Because the prices go up every single year. So let's say you contact them this year in 2023, they're very likely to give you the price for 2023, even though your wedding might be two years away. Yes. At the end, it would be cheaper for you to book them as soon as possible. And the second reason is because if they are a very important part for you on your wedding day, you definitely don't want to get closer to the date, contact them, and then they are already booked. Yes. That would suck. This was important for us for our photographer. Point number five, do not ask too many people for quotes. Mm -hmm. It might get way too overwhelming yes. to deal with too many. If you already like a vendor and you like the price, don't text 10 other ones. <laughs> Just book it. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree with that. It's not always that the cheapest vendor is the best one for you. Yeah. So if it's one of your priority and you like it and they're available, Take advantage of that. I think the one thing that I actually looked for more quotes was our venue because it was basically the most important thing in our wedding. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I really didn't ask for many quotes. Probably three or four at maximum. And then I made the decision. We made the decision. <laughs> and then we made the decision. <laughs> and most of the times, I didn't go for the cheapest option because I knew you're getting what you paid for. 
Yes. The next point is more for the brides, obviously for the brides, but also for the grooms a little bit. A little bit. Which is find your wedding outfit at least eight months before your wedding. Every place I went to were like at least like the closest you can get to the date is six months because after that your options are very limited they cannot make many adjustments to the dresses and stuff and even though i went to the bridal place with a lot of time they still had to make so many changes and like a month before the wedding i was still going there which was annoying a little bit but whatever yeah and for the groom <laughs> it doesn't have to be six or eight months but i was pretty late <laughs> I started looking for suits maybe like two months before the wedding. It's crazy, dude. And I found the one maybe one month before the wedding. And then I still had to make changes. The day before we were in Germany, the day before we were flying to Mexico, they were still making changes. No, oh my gosh, <laughs> dude, I was freaking out. You couldn't even bring your entire suit because they were making changes. It's true, my parents brought it later. <laughs> yeah. And we were just hoping that the changes were correct. Yeah. And he got his shoes and his t-shirt also. In like, Mexico, or like three days before the wedding. No, oh a gosh. week, two weeks. The shirt one day before the wedding. Yeah, I'll true. Never forget the shirt that. actually like one or two days. No, don't be like Yannick. <laughs> I would say if you're a groom, just go don't the same. Don't be a Yannick. <laughs> don't be a Yannick. Go the same day that your bride is gonna go find wedding dresses. Say, okay, that day I'm also gonna do that. And if you have a wedding at the beach and you don't live uh, in a country where it's usually warm, <laughs> like, like Germany, Germany. <laughs> look for suits in summer <laughs> because in winter they don't have suits that fit to the beach. That's true, you were looking for suits in winter. And everything was dark and warm <laughs> and I was like, I need a very light suit for a beach wedding. And nobody had and that. And they were wedding. like, <laughs> they were all laughing at me. Oh my god. And I was like, okay, next point digital invitations for the win. <laughs> you know, it's 2023. Not many people do paper invitations anymore. I know it's like something nice and something to get excited about, but for me, it felt like such a waste. The good thing about digital ones is that you can write way more mm -hmm. than on a small paper. Especially for destination weddings, it was important for us. We put all the details about the trip, all the details about their attire. If they had any questions, they could always go to the website. Not many people go to the website when they have a question. They didn't pay attention and they didn't, they didn't read. read it. Yeah. They didn't read it fully. <laughs> but I could always say, check it on the website when they ask me. We made our website ourselves for free on Wix. Yeah, I mean, there we actually created it ourselves, but there are also templates. Not in Wix, but in other, in other websites that offer you to make a website. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. I, we use withjoy.com for our RSVPs. And I think Joy also has this free we wedding website. Now, the RSVPs were also there. And that was awesome because people could just let us know with one click if they were coming or not. They could let us know if they were vegetarian or vegan. The only problem there was that, first of all, don't even get me started with the guests. <laughs> this is probably one of the most, the things that are gonna make you the most stressed about your wedding and less enjoyable is gonna be your guests. That's the next point. Oh gosh, they make you want to rip your hair up. Everybody tells you they're gonna come to your wedding when you invite them one year beforehand. And then they start canceling in between for random reasons. A lot of them, like a lot of them you understand the reasons, but some of them you're like, you could have told me this from the beginning. We had people canceling literally a month before the wedding. Yes, and we already paid for the people. In connection to that, it might be a good idea to invite more people than you actually want to have at the wedding. Yeah. Because in the beginning, everybody said, yeah, of course, I'll be there. So we were like, okay, it's full. Like mm -hmm. we cannot afford more people at the wedding because the wedding at the beach is not really cheap. Yeah, and we said from the beginning, we don't want more than 70 or 80 people. Yeah, we said a specific amount. And everybody said, yes, I'm coming. So we were like, okay, that's it. We're not gonna invite anyone else. But then people canceled two months before the wedding, one month before the wedding. Mm -hmm. And we were like, and now we have space. Yes. We ended <laughs> up inviting some people that we really wanted to have at the wedding, but we couldn't because all the other ones were already there. And some of them came. It yes. was awesome. It was awesome. One of my favorite things that they managed to come with such That's short awesome. notice yeah yeah if you're a guest please <laughs> if you don't want to spend the money to go there just say it from the beginning the bride and the groom are not gonna get angry at you no they get angry if you cancel one month before yeah for the next point we get to the design of the wedding which means decoration 
flowers and everything else you want to have at the wedding that makes it look pretty. This is my favorite part of wedding planning. Nah. I think I did such a good job, y'all. <laughs> she did. <laughs> I have to say, it was beautiful. Look up on Pinterest, on Instagram, or any source that you can find for examples that you can show to your vendors of how you want your wedding. Yeah, your wedding. Uh, I want how you want your wedding to look. I married a German. <laughs> oh my God. Cutie. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit how I did it fast. I'm back in Notion here. The months where I was very overwhelmed, I wrote a to-do list and then I just had to cross it myself. Yeah. And for example, here I had things to buy, the Mexican table, the German table, the guests that have an RSVP. So there I was able to keep track of all the decorations I was gonna need. What we did for the design, we looked for a long time on Pinterest. I thought I had my dream design already on Pinterest, but then the, your taste changes and a lot. Yeah, within a year. I remember I wanted pampas everywhere. And then a few months later I was like, pampas are so 2008. Oh my God. For real, I was like not into pampas anymore. Okay. And I thought, I don't want it to be like 10 years down the road and I look at my photos and they look like old. You want it uh, timeless. timeless. I want it timeless. Look. Wow. Huh? Professional. It's just for the flowers. Yeah, I texted this to a, to a vendor and he was like, are you a wedding planner? <laughs> and I said, no, he's like, this is what wedding planners do. Mm -hmm. so they send them. We first pick the colors. Color scheme of the wedding. Fitting to the location. Yes. I knew I wanted a gazebo. I put three options to get quoted. This is what I sent the florist. And then, important, write what you do not want. This was so important for me. Important, guys. Yeah, I didn't want to be disappointed the day of my wedding. The more information you give, the more it's actually gonna look like you want it to look. Yes, set yourself up for success. I told this to Janet too. What? Don't assume that people know <laughs> what you have in mind. Don't assume anything, even the stupidest things in your mind, the other person, may not be thinking about that, okay? It worked perfectly, it was perfect. Because, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm very excited about this. This is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Here it is. I sent this to the florist because florists, you know, have a lot of work. So I sent them a PDF, like probably a week before the wedding. Look at this. This is our gazebo. Yeah. They made it look exactly how I wanted it. And I think part of it is my instructions. <laughs> So I did that for basically every single provider. And something very important is that when we went to check our venue, we were taking videos. And then I took stills from those videos and I made like a collage of mm -hmm. like, here is where I want the gazebo to be. Here is where I want the screen. Ah, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now we get to the last point, And this is kind of important because um, we wish we would have known that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. The month before the wedding, you might experience new costs that you didn't expect. Mostly because of me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and at that point, just was like, whatever, man. Just Let's just it. get it. <laughs> Let's just buy it. It needs to be done. <laughs> no, the thing is like, there were a couple of things that I didn't think about beforehand. Yeah, so it's a good idea to have an emergency fund. Emergency last minute fund. Just um, some food for thought. Oh, <laughs> let's do a fast round of tips, very fast. Let's go. Mine, if you're a bride, eat, 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 eat. And this food in our wedding was delicious and I am so glad I ate so much. At the day of the wedding, chances are very high that at least one thing goes wrong or one person is stupid. <laughs> um, expect it to happen and be okay with it. Don't pay attention to it. Deal with it later yeah. or don't deal with it at all. <laughs> If you're a groom, please do not write your vows the day of your wedding. Write them with enough time, unlike Janet, so that you get to spend time with your partner and enjoy it. You! Um. Okay, me again. <laughs> First look, it's not for everyone, but if you do it, I think it's gonna be awesome because you get to spend more time together and you get more time for photos and for videos. And our favorite photo from our entire wedding was before the wedding happened. Write vows or a letter to each other. It's it made our wedding so special. Yeah. And I think a lot of weddings, like especially in Mexico, if it's in a church or in Germany, I think I also haven't seen a wedding with vows. Yeah. It makes it so special. Write a letter to each other and read it out loud 
to each other before the ceremony. Don't tan too much before your wedding if you have a dress that has like an open back or anything like that. So many brides in the groups that I am part of are dealing with crazy sunburns before their wedding day. You don't want to. We were super careful. Also me. Yes. Both of us. We didn't want to be red on our wedding. Don't eat fish one day before the wedding because chances might be that you get food poisoning. And last point from my side, get a good videographer mm. for the wedding. Don't skimp. Don't skimp on the video because this is what you're gonna keep for the rest of your life. And the photos. And the photos too. And for me, the last one is please write the most important thing or one of the most important things for you to enjoy your wedding day and your wedding night is that you're comfortable so i love that i had three different choices of shoes to to use during mm -hmm. my wedding i started with some uncomfortable heels but they were nice then i switched to sneakers that were not actual wedding sneakers but they were amazing and i still use them those big ones the big ones they're 10 centimeters yeah huge but they are not actual wedding sneakers so I get to use them all the time whenever I want. I use them for At a concert. Stuff, Harry Styles mm -hmm. concert. And the last one were some beautiful chanclas, but like nice ones. <sighs> if you want a cool wedding planner, hire her. <laughs> if you want cool videographer for your wedding, hire, hire us. us. See you soon. Bye. Cheers.